Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about um, how to flip the normals or when your mesh is inside out. So the back side of the mesh is the outside. So, okay. So we need examples. Okay. Sometimes it happens when you yeah, maybe here such a tube profile and you change the notes and you do something like this here. Then you see here the, the color of the mesh changes. So this here is the back side of the mesh. And you see it here in the settings here. You see here two sided is active and a colored back face is on. So I'm changing now the color maybe to a, a darker red tone, then we can see it much better than this brown tone. And now when I flip the mesh, you see here the back side is the outside or yeah, this is called uh, the normal direction. So we have to change or flip the normals. Um, the same here, here I'm using a lathe tool here and the same, hap the same thing happens uh, when you do something here like this. So now um, the inside is the outside. Okay. So and sometimes you don't see it because colored back face is off. So when this checkbox is off, you don't recognize this. Or uh, other thing is here in the material settings, you see here colored back face. And when this checkbox here is off, you can see it also not. So, and this causes problems. So, so I validate this object and I try to sculpt on this. So maybe I voxel remesh the whole thing a little bit, so a little bit more. Um, and I'm using the clay tool here. And you see here I selected front facing vertex only. So and I try to sculpt here on this mesh and nothing happens. So Sorry, I have to redo. And now you see here, such a thing here happens and the inside mesh comes out. Okay. And how to fix a problem? So turn colored back face on. And then you see here a checkbox, inverse culling. So use this checkbox and this checkbox changes or flips the normal direction. So now the uh, normal direction is okay. And then here use the export option. You can use OBJ F, uh, or STL and here select it. And these are the settings here and export this object here. So I save it. So and I call it test inverse culling. Save. Okay. At the moment you see here inverse culling is the checkbox is active. So now I drag drop here the file back. And you see here in the outliner, um, here is a new object.
and here in the material settings here you see here for this mesh inverse culling is on so I turn it off and for this mesh inverse culling is off so you flipped the normals and now everything is okay and fine again <laughs> so yeah that's it um, okay i hope it helps um, have fun with sculpting and ciao